the heat, the weather, with the wind, with just all the elements, it was really, really difficult. When we got started with this, we knew this was gonna be one of the hardest projects, and that's mainly because this is the first time I'm doing uh, a 3D work of art. Uh, in other words, an anamorphic work of art where the image has to look three-dimensional and it's the first time that people can get onto a vantage point on the top of the dunes and actually see my work. The question was how to pull it off. All projects begin with finding the best location. Ryan went to the the highest point of the dune and basically sniped this absolutely beautiful shot. Gorgeous background with the mountains, the trees, the rolling dunes, and then this dynamic direction, right? Of course it first starts and we just dream. We say dream, like what would it look like for the shoe to be nestled in right there? And bear in mind, this is around 100 meters long. Has this ever been done in the desert? I don't know about this. <laughs> On the multiple angles? we were freaked out. Basically what we need to do is get the shoe on there and make a massive grid. The entire site is sloped. Well, it's so stretched out. Everything is looking really, really, really distorted. Pull, pull, Ryan. That's how it started was we basically mapped out this massive canvas in the desert. The next thing we had to do is we got to get the colors right. It took a long time to actually get the colors perfect. What we want is the shoe to feel, it's a desert runner, has to feel like it's immersed in the landscape. It was the most technical piece I've ever worked on. Any inconsistency will show at the top of the hill and then the illusion is broken. Usually I'm flying my drone up and down to reference it and it's a pretty easy procedure, right? This is a different project where you get a, a, a nice, uh, nice workout, burn 100 calories climbing up this mountain, <laughs> up the dune. Most people think you just like, you'll show up, you create a work of art. It's always this absolute like wrestling match. So we're going completely with hand sprayers and sand. I mean, I did not think I was gonna be brushing with sand, making a shadow with, I mean, this is totally ridiculous. Guys, let's move down here. Too much, too much. The edge so that... The heat, the weather, making a, a nearly 100 meter long piece in the desert with the wind with just all the elements it was um it was really really difficult this really pushed me to my limits definitely running into some challenges spare challenges but it's not a popo project if you don't run into challenges final hours machine just broke we're just rolling with it Oh man, I was just thinking, <laughs> can't wait till I finish this. It's been a tough, it's been a tough, uh, but how many days have been so far, Uku? We are eighth day in the desert. Eighth day in the desert straight, so and it's been literally sleep, paint, sleep, paint. Maybe a visit to the gas station if you're lucky. Paint, sleep. <laughs> Tenth day of this project, we have finally completed it. Don't exist. We can, you know, it's totally surreal. I mean, we started this project kind of questioning if this was actually possible to do a 3D anamorphic work inside of the desert. We just went in with faith that it was possible, and we pushed really, really hard. And so it's it's pretty surreal that it's all coming together, and it's it's looking pretty sick. This was probably one of the hardest projects that I've ever worked on. It was just a, a real labor of love and there were many times where the team and I were really thinking, uh, I'm not sure if this is possible, but we're just gonna go for it. We gave it absolutely everything that we had from early morning to late night. 
just there's so many people involved and such a team camaraderie when you bring all these people together to, to do something that you don't actually think is possible. You guys already knew it my birthday. <laughs> the desert is beautiful. Um, had some magical times out here working. The camels will come up, the sunsets. Definitely gonna miss just this, this place. It was all worth it. Good morning, we're diving in now.